What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Kentucky Beardsman and as always guys, I truly appreciate each and every one of you for giving me a little bit of your time. So today we're going to talk about your beard talking to you. That's right. I'm not crazy. Well, I am crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Uh, you, listen to your beard. Your beard truly tells you when you need to wash it. If you're over washing it, when you need to condition it, when you need to use butter, use more butter, less butter, more oil, less oil, all those things, you really... And I, I, you really don't need someone like me telling you, here's my beard routine, you should do it that way, or try it out, or whatever. It, everyone needs to do something a little bit different. You sweat more than I sweat. I sweat more than you sweat. I do things that have dust in the air. You sit in an office. You know, every single person is a little bit different. We all have different climates, different um uh, humidity levels, different colds, different, you know, dry heat, cold, uh, humid heat, er everything. There's every little single thing, it's a little bit different. Um, I think there's, everyone says, oh, everyone's beard's different. I don't think it's necessarily the beards per se. Yes, there are multiple types of beards um, or beard hairs, but I think a lot of it has to do with the different climates that we live in, things of that nature, di the different scenarios that we each have, you know, our jobs, what type of work we do, um, you know, the climate, all that stuff. So basically, this is more for the newcomers or for you to help a newcomer, I guess we'll call it. But it's it's small little tiny tips that are super simple. And, you know, it, it's, it's not something you have to go really deep into. If you want to, you can really dive off into it and get into pH levels and 4.5 to 5.0, I believe it is, for, you know, perfect pH for your hair. All that bullcrap. If you want to get into that, let me know. We might can do a video on that if you want to. I don't mind it. Again, it's whatever, but keep it simple, stupid. You know what I mean? Um, so, I don't have a set routine for my beard. I don't have a set beard routine at all, and I'm never going to. The reason being is because things change all the time for me. Uh, one day I might be laying tall and not have a ton of dust in my beard unless I'm doing a lot of cutting, or in the next day I may be finishing drywall and have so much dust on me that I have to wash my beard multiple times and throw in leave-in conditioners or whatever, you know what I'm saying? There's so many different things. <clears throat> First and foremost, the amount of oil oil you're applying, it should absorb within about 30 minutes or so. Some say faster, some say up to an hour. It, it really all depends on what type of oil you're using. If it's something super thick and heavy and fatty, it's probably going to take a little bit longer. Um, again, it also depends on how porous your beard is as well and your skin because your beard is going to absorb a ton of that oil. Um, it's I use basically a full dropper with a beard this length. And sometimes I use a little bit more. Um, again, it all depends, but it should absorb within about 30 to 45 minutes, somewhere in that area. So if you have a ton of product left over afterwards, listen to your beard, get that extra crap out, get a towel, rub a little bit of it off. It's not going to hurt to rub some of it out. Um, if it's absorbing really, really fast, there are oils. Again, we can dive into all these extra things. So let's just leave it at that. It should absorb roughly within about 30 minutes or so. Um, how often should you wash your beard? When your beard feels dirty or looks dirty, wash that shit. Um, in a real perfect world, someone that stays inside a lot or someone that doesn't sweat hardly ever, um, when they go to work, they basically sit in an office, a nice air-conditioned, perfect climate zone, I guess you could call it. You can get away with washing it two, maybe three times a week. You really can. As uh, long as you're doing some co-washes in there or rinsing it really well, things of that nature. I wash my beard every day, multiple times a day. It all depends on certain situations, but it's going to get beard washing at, at least two times a day. Like, guaranteed, morning and night, and then maybe rinses during the day. Signs of overwashing your beard? Your face is going to, you'll know. Listen to your skin. Your skin is going to be dry. It's going to hurt. It's going to almost burn, almost. Um, I've... I've had it happen to me many times, actually, back in when I first started overwashing my beard with just wash instead of just rinsing it or using a co-wash. Um, but really pay attention to these things. Your skin can get dry. Also, conditioner. I don't use conditioner very often. Um, I do a co-wash maybe every other day somewhere in that area. 
every now and then, if I know I'm going to have like a solid week of drywall uh, dust and stuff like that, I'll co-wash every day once a day. But you can over condition your beard with conditioners and co-washes. And you'll know because your beard is actually going to start feeling drier. Crazy, right? Um, your beard is going to feel a little heavy, kind of feel thick. It's going to feel oily. Um, these, not every single one of these are guaranteed to be the symptoms of it, but these are some different symptoms you can feel. Um, but your beard can start getting dry from over conditioning your beard. Same thing with your hair on your head as well. The reason being is it helps open up all of the little pores and stuff in your skin and your hair and it makes everything start opening up, therefore drying out. No good. Don't do that. Um, in my opinion, again, unless you're in my situation where you're getting extremely dirty and you just want to keep your beard from getting zapped completely of all of its moisture and high, you know, all the liquid in it, don't over condition your beard. A couple times a week, really, is all you need. If you're going to do a conditioner, if you're going to co-wash, you might can do it three times a week, something like that. Um, if you're somebody that works out all the time, maybe condition, again, maybe every two, maybe three times a week, somewhere in that area. Butter. Butter is technically supposed to be used daily. Um, it doesn't matter if you use it during the day and at night, or if you use it during at night, or during just the day, or whatever, however you want to do it. You technically can't over overuse, I guess you could say, butter. It's just not going to happen. You will walk around, just like with the oil, you're going to walk around with a greasy ass face. But again, you can't really over oil or over butter your beard, but you can walk around with too much product on and it's going to therefore attract dirt. And then you're going to be looking pretty nappy. So beard butter, again, it's something you just have to test with to see how much your beard can handle, how much your, you know, how much of all that stuff it absorbs. But I do recommend using a beard butter or at least something that's going to substitute for the beard butter. I don't use beard butter as much anymore. I don't use it every single day or, and or night. I use this. I use beard butter mostly on the weekends, kind of as a deep conditioner. That's what it is. Um, but I use the leave-in hydration mist from uh, Classic Grooming when I rinse my beard out at lunch, things of that, you know, things like that. And I'll just spray that in afterwards and whew, I'm good to go. I don't need the butter because that really does re-moisturize and rehydrate your beard. Drink plenty of water. Your beard will start feeling crispy and dry and funky as crap. You know, the, the growth will slow down, man. Um, things like that really, really do. You've really got to pay attention to these things. If you ever have any questions, reviewers like myself and many others out there are there to answer those questions. But hopefully these kind of things will help you kind of just open your eyes a little bit more to what's going on with your beard and your face. So you don't have to ask as many questions. Um, not saying there's anything wrong with it, but it's, you know what I'm saying? Some of these things we should be learning to do on our own. Um, I, that's just kind of the way I feel about it. I wrote down a few little notes here. Um, butter for style and moisturizing. Uh, and and uh, also butter really helps lock in the oil that you applied before the butter. Um, and that's kind of one of the main things you want is that oil to lock, be in there as long as possible. And not just your skin, your hair as well. If it wasn't... if if oil was just for your skin, it wouldn't be in butter. You know what I'm saying? I know that's a consistency thing, but you really wouldn't need the oil in the butter. They would just learn how to make it thinner some other way, right? But oil is for your hair as well, um, mainly for your skin. But the, uh, the butter locks in the, mo the, the oil. Um, if you want a seriously deep conditioning, like a true deep conditioning, instead of using maybe a, a really heavy conditioner, use balm. Stop freaking out about balm. People say, oh, well, it builds up. It builds up in my beard. Wash that shit out. Wash it every day. Um, if you use balm every day, wash it every day. That stuff will build up. If you leave it on there, of course it will. But if you do it properly and with a little bit of common sense, beard balm is one of the best things ever. Anything with beeswax in it. I've been using a lot of mustache wax here lately. My mustache has never grown as fast as it has the last few weeks. It truly hasn't. I've been taking a picture every week for the last month or so. It is very, very much longer than it normally would at this point in time. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, overall conditioning. Um, okay, I was talking about uh, over conditioning. Uh, symptoms are dry, weak. Um, 
a heavy feeling, uh, thick, oily, things like that. Kind of like the same with your hair, but really pay attention to your skin. Your skin and your beard hairs themselves will tell you all you need to know. If something's a little bit dry, if you're using a lot of conditioner, you might be overusing it. Dial back on the conditioner, maybe even cut it out for a little bit to see if that makes that dryness go away. If it doesn't, then you're not using a good oil and a good butter. Or maybe you need to use a balm with a little bit of beeswax in it or a butter with a little bit of beeswax in it to really lock in that moisture. Anyways, I hope this video helps someone out there. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if I left anything out, let me know down below. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. Again, if you have any questions, hit me up down below and I will get back with you ASAP. Later, guys.